How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Blue Shifting, and welcome back to Trio a Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, where we met. Okay, what was her name? God, what's her name? Oh, shoot. I should know this. I should know this. Uh, It's only been a week. I like her. She's Falcon Girl. I'm sure it will come up in a bit. Uh, but we, we we kind of traced uh, like the the little kid who likes stole our stuff, and we hung out here at the orphanage, and I decided to end here. Um, it looks like we had a good episode. Thankfully, I'm really grateful that you all have been really good about like helping me avoid spoilers, but also like encouraging me not to miss content. Um, which is just it's a good balance you've been striking. I really appreciate it. I hope we can continue to do that. However, <coughs> excuse me. Last time someone made a comment. Saying like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I, I, was, I, I, I remember saying at the end, I was just like, well, you know, we've got her and we we'll have to protect her in combat, so maybe we should just go straight to Ruan again. And so I was just like, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but, uh, but she's from the Royal Academy. That sounds interesting. And just like, I don't know why, but that was like a little seed bomb in my brain. And all week long, I keep thinking to myself like, what if I miss something by not going to the Academy, even though she says she doesn't need to go back to the Academy? Because so many things in this game literally just ha you have to take initiative for in order to like not miss something. The other thing I started thinking about too is like when I get the run, like should I go and talk to people right away? Or should I literally just go buy some equipment if I can find it and then just sprint to the tower so I don't mix anything there? So I have no idea what I'm going to be doing today. But we'll get to that when we get to it, I suppose. But for now, I'm going to make my way and when we get to the split for the, for the Royal Academy, I'm going to think about it. I think it depends on like as we go into combats, um, like just how that situation rolls out. Especially when I go on that trail, if the the challenge level suddenly spikes, and I'm worried, I'm, like I'm gonna say before I go, and if the challenge level suddenly spikes to the point where like I think that not only me but our like but our like escort will die, then you know, screw that noise. I'll just wait. But if it's not looking that bad, especially if she helps in combat, like. When the photographer lady was a part of our was a part of our escort group, she kinda helped, but not really. You know, it was not like I actually could like use her in combat and like like uh Daniel, Damien, I don't know, whatever his name was, the bard guy. Um, so it kinda comes it kinda is gonna really rely on that. So yeah, I don't know. We'll figure all that out though. So thank you so much. I'm looking forward to playing today. We'll see how it goes. I have no idea how long this episode is gonna be or what it's gonna entail, but Let's explore a little bit. I'm going to spend a little more time in the orphanage. I might go talk to make sure I talk to everybody before I go, just because I can't remember if I did that. And otherwise, we'll just jump right to our exploration. So let's get started. Do come back soon. The children will be delighted to see you again. There isn't much to you for them to do, you see. All we have are tea and candy. I mean, I, I can get you pretty far in life, honestly, but yeah. Miss Chloe makes the best apple pie. Chloe, that's right. I can eat three times a day forever. Aw, that's very sweet. I'm sorry for the trouble Clem caused. He's just always like that. What a pain. And I don't know if we met you. Stella and Joshua. Joshi, you gotta come play. Play more again, okay? Oh, she sounds tiny. Aw, man. Orphanages are one of those things, like one of those places where like, you, like, you always like, oh, you know, it's a nice that they exist and it's a good thing and all that. But then like, if you ever actually go, it's like, it's amazing and heartbreaking all at once. Miss Clow! It's gonna be the brat. Clem? Oh, it's that brat! You know you should you know you shouldn't be playing around here. What would you do if a monster attacked you? I just had to come and apologize to you. I'm sorry for lying about the emblem thingy. <laughs> well, don't worry, I'm not mad at you. But isn't there someone else you should be apologizing to? Uh, no, there isn't. I know you're a good boy, so why don't you go and apologize? Well, if you want me to, I guess I gotta. <sighs> um, Miss Fraser, lady. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're apologizing to me? There, so there is justice in this world. Hey, don't get me wrong. I just wanted to apologize to Miss Clo. Aren't Fraser supposed to be pay attention to what's going on? If a little kid like me can grab something off you so easily, what's your excuse? Bye-bye. <laughs> Make sure not, that you, you hold in that training of yours before you lose something even more valuable. Check your pockets. 
What a little brat. Settle down. He was just trying to hide his own embarrassment. Not to mention, you really aren't the most attentive person in the world. Maybe you should heed his advice. Ugh, you're an even bigger brat. <laughs> you two must be really close. I mean, you act like brother and sister. Eh, we do? Only in as far as we looked out for each other. Oh, that's a big help. <laughs> I'm honestly a little envious. I was an only child. Wish I knew what that kind of relationship feels like. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Anyway, we should be heading out. I can, I, we can just get the ruin by following the beach. Okay, let's go then. That soundtrack is so stinking good for this game. It blows my mind every time. All right, so let's see. Okay, so we can dive onto the beach. I'm guessing there's a chest down here and monsters. Like, I think if I find a big monster, I'm just gonna skip it because I, unless I know Cloak can like help in combat directly. Found Terra Bomb. Terra Bomb, that sounds different. Oh, Alchemer's much? Uh, Al 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 Alchemer's much? Thank you, game. I'm, shut up. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Terra Bomb. Okay, so it heals a thousand. So it's just a Terra Bomb, but like, better. Cool, cool, cool. Wait a second. Look at the map. Oh, look at this. Oh, somebody! There's a gold chest. There's lots of sharks. Shark dogs. Oh, here we go. H help me! Oh no. Estelle. On it! Here we go. Oh, shark dogs. These things are kind of scary. Okay, let's see. I think they're... Uh, crocod... Dark. Okay, so it's like it's just, it looks like it's a nastier one. Land monster appears near water, unbelievably slow, but has a powerful bite. Okay, little weak to magic though, and since we don't want to get too close as of yet, I think it might be good for us to go ahead and get some spells going. Perfect. I could have done it with just one, but rather better safe than sorry. Perfect. That's that then. Let's move out. Definitely want to be careful with Chloe, though. She could easily get hurt if we get a bad combat. Whew, that's better. Yeah, looks like everything's okay now. Um, he's not hurt, is he? Oh, I thought it was done for this time. I really just missed becoming I just missed becoming fish food. That's because you were here by yourself. What in the world are you doing? Uh, that's kind of complicated. I can't really talk about it. Uh-huh. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter to me. You just need to stop wandering into dangerous places all alone. Next time you might not be so lucky. Yeah, you're right. Today was a close call. I've saved up some money. Yeah, I think it's time I splurged a little. Huh? So what's the plan then? If we can, we should escort him back to town. No, no, it's okay. I'm fine going down the, road, down the coast road. See you later, and thanks. I mean... Hmm... That's one easygoing guy. Looks like there was some reason he was here. I hate to see him get into trouble again. Yeah, I have a feeling we can easily run into him again. Wonder which direction he's supposed to be going. Like... Oh no. Dang it! I let my guard down. Oh gosh! Alright, come on. Get him good. These are two combats that I'm pretty sure are staying in the video. Back to back. Oh, that was spicy. Alright, hmm. What do I do with you? Most flicker is a good option. That's something at least. I'm glad they're so far clustering up and leaving Chloe alone. I'm, I'm good with that. All right, come on. Now this is the hurricane of the lifetime right here. Go on, do it! Oh, so close. I was hoping to get all of them. Oh, hey, she's gonna do something. Ew. Okay. That went all right. That went okay. All right, we're good to go. And we leveled up. Easily worth it then. 
And a ruby talisman. Uh, what? Stuff you looked for before wasn't enough? I mean, kind of depends. Let's see what a ruby talisman is. Uh, ruby talisman. Where is the attacks and defense become fire-based? Huh. Does that mean you're resistant to everything but fire? Or fire-specifically resistant? Terror bomb. Forgot to say the magic word. Please? Dang it. That might actually work. This game has magic, don't mock me. Go ahead, mock me, I don't care. <laughs> I mock me all the time. Ah, oh, there's another chest. How do I get down to you? That actually is interesting. It looks like I might not be able to get down there. Huh. That's really weird. Well, let's at least try. Oh. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Sneaky beaky. Ooh. And that didn't count as a preemptive. Interesting. Alright, I want to double check though. So we, we know shark dogs. Uh, C, it's playing shark explosion with feet. Yeah, so we gotta be careful. Alright, now we can finish shark dog. Boom. Not bad at all. We're good to go. Perfect. Oh. Alright, game. Okay. You've lulled me by having me fight a monster before a chest. I feel like every golden chest in this route has been a monster fight. Have I been coddled into thinking that only about half of them are? Because this is just, this is just getting mean. I mean, it's the same fight, so we should be fine. Come on, yes. Yes, more of you move into the circle of death. Yes. Yes. Do it. Do it. Yes. That's all of them, baby. I, yeah, I just instantly massacred you. Spin and blend. Perfect. Perfect. Woo! Oh, he confused you. That's cool. Alright, here we go. Coming in clutch with a hurricane again. What? What? No. You're not allowed to just ignore. Ah, oh, fetch me. I just took the thing off of her that keeps her from getting confused. Are you serious? Are we gonna die? Are we gonna literally die when they're all this weak? Desperate times. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right. Okay. Okay. This is crisis right now. <laughs> Alright, game. That seemed cruel. 
I should have had that. So we're gonna try again. This time it's not gonna get all of them, but... Oh, what, what was it that protected them from her hurricane last time? That's what I really don't understand. Not super ideal, because it means all of them get attacks, but... Oh, you know what? I think it was those specialized ones that were really doing the, the problematic stuff. Alright, so now... Assuming we don't die... Okay, they have some kind of attack guard going on there. That's interesting. Thank you. Nope, not taunt. That's weird. Like, why does that move specifically do so little? Cool. Am I gonna lose again? I'm gonna kill myself again! Thank you. Alright. Why- why are her attacks so not useless? What is happening right now? I really am just, I'm beyond confused about this. Like my, like, like, like Estelle Joshua. I'm just so confused. Screw you guys. I'm not getting confused again. Now, if this other guy confuses us, I think it's just gonna die from poison anyway. There. You guys suck. That was the worst. Found a battle suit. Voice of my lid say you said you return. Yeah. What the fetch was that? We're saving right now. Cause what on earth that I'm like irrationally mad. Like I should be fine. I know going into combat is dangerous, but I'm still irrationally angry. You can have the battle suit, Joshua. You tend to be in the thick of it a bit more. Terrible. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 What are you? Well, I said we wouldn't do this, but it looks like we have to, so. I did just save. Oh, no. All right. Let's first of all see what did you. Java, monster usually lurking in the forest will attack with arts weak against water. Okay, 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 okay. And you get to go right away because you're so stinking fast. I love you, man. Oh, it's just one shot. Beautiful. Now, for whatever reason, I know they resist the stupid. They just resist her weapon. No, again. Please heal him. Please heal him. Please get rid of the confusion. Thank you. Heck yes. The fires must die. <laughs> Why are they the bait of my existence this time around? Thank you, Josh. Oh, I can handle shark dogs. I can handle shark dogs. Let's just go all out here. Why are you running towards them? Thank you. Yes. Worst is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sucks to be you, demon dog. Okay. We're good to go. Got a lot of food there. All right, all right, all right. Jeremy the monster in the Gulf Seaside Way. We're getting so many missions done. There. At least one of us won't be stinkingly confused all the time. <sighs> <sighs> I'm 
I'm so irrationally upset. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> okay. Part of me. Okay, so we're like. It's like we're right next to Ruan. Wait, wait. Where's the path to the academy? Yeah, and it looks like we passed the, the the ramp that goes up that direction. Ooh, it's over here. Aha! Found you. Terror bomb. I, I feel so empty inside. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> it has been a week, let me tell you. Aha! Okay. Academy. Let's see if it's either kicks our butt too hard or she like says why are we going this way Vesta Forest Road Ooh, nice I like the music here it sounds familiar though I'm pretty sure we've heard it somewhere before but still lovely here we go let's see if there's anything interesting going on here this is my school the Janus Royal Academy Unfortunately, classes aren't in session right now, so I can't show you around. Hey, isn't this... This place is huge! You really study here? This sure is different from our little Sunday school. This is where I can't... Yeah, it is huge. So, okay, so we probably can come in here later, but right now we can't. Cool. So, not... Not really a beneficial trip, but I mean, we got to explore. I got to see some new monsters to fight. Like all in all, I still called a win. My curiosity has been sated. And there's no secret mission down there as of yet. I'm sure we'll have a chance to go there though. Like, it, like there's no way that place is rendered like that and it's not gonna be visited eventually, but not now. Maybe there's gonna be like a monster attack going on there. We get to help clear that up. I could see that being our way in. All right. Now we are down. Time to continue to Ruan. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. Ooh. That's cute. Kind of like pseudo tropical. Big port town. Wow, so this is Ruan. This one's the, this one, this is one gorgeous city. The blue water, white buildings do make for a nice contrast. So, 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 so I'm guessing it's very Greek then. Surely feels like a port city. <laughs> well, I, it promises many varied things. There's a lighthouse not far from here, a little park on the coast. On the other side of town, there's a pretty neat looking church too. But the biggest attraction of all has to be the Lang, uh, Lang Lang Bridge. What's so special about it? It connects the north and south districts of the city. And uh, more importantly, it's a drawbridge. A drawbridge, huh? Yeah, that might be interesting. The Bracers Guild is just past there in the middle of the main street. Just in front of the bridge. Okay then, let's go there first. Sweet. So she's sticking with us. But this is a store. Arms and guards. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I have a bunch of money burning a hole in my pocket. That's what we're here for. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. What a cute little bracer. Or rather, a bracer in training, if I recognize the crest correctly. Wow, you sure know your stuff. <laughs> I know a few things. Oh. Shop, shop, shop. Okay, so um, I thought I wouldn't have enough, which you might have heard at the beginning of that. But it turned out that when I sold all the gear we didn't need, because we had a whole bunch of it that we just was, you know, retired. I selling it all practically doubled the amount of money we had. So I got upgraded armor for both of them. I gave them upgraded weapons. Um, I upgraded uh, Estelle's shoes because uh, Josh's shoes are okay. Uh, I'd love to, I should get him new ones later, but I'm going to save my mirror for some, in case there's something else I might need it for. I don't like how it's giving me so much money. Oh, hi, Chloe. What brings you to town? I'm just showing my friends around. She's got the same school uniform as Chloe. So she, she, so she does. I guess you're on your way home? Yeah, there's no club practice today, so... Oh, by the way, did you end up making up your mind about... You know what? Uh, not yet. Okay, I hope you do soon. What's... You know what? I'm sure we'll find out. <laughs> but if if it's... You know what? Like, obviously, not us to pry, for us to pry. I guess I should get ready for school. Done everything I need to get done, so I can't really complain. That's my motto. That's a interesting motto. 
Okay, done washing the clothes. My big brother needs to me brother helped me today. Okay, so it looks like a lot of people here go to that school. It's just, I, I guess it kind of makes sense, but they made it sound like very prestigious, but it might simply be prestigious because people travel to go to it, but locally everyone goes. Hey, I know that uniform. You're a Royal Academy student. Now I get a close look at it. I like it even more. Ruan was originally a town of sailors and fishermen. We had men from around the world here. All of them made their living at sea. Wanted my son to live that kind of life too. To be a real man. I'm guessing he's like more student based. I should head over to the harbor soon. There are a few things I want to get done. The problem is like so many people wear the same uniform and have the same hair color. It's actually kind of difficult because like that kid looks a lot like the guy we rescued, but their names were different. But like, I'm easily going to lose track of characters like that. Oh, I've come from far to see Seaside City. Oh, Azalea Bay stretches on and the fish sure are pretty. Cool. I kind of tried to do that sing songy, but I'm terrible at singing, so forgive me. Yeah, I could cross there, but I kind of want to cross the down here because there's that girl standing on the bridge here. <laughs> Welcome to the seaside city of Ruan. Horrible factory. Hmm. I got a lot of stuff I could use here, so. We've got a lot of tourists today. They don't have reservations for hotels, though. I hear that place is booked solid. I think the Bracers Guild office is open up to take them in. That's actually interesting. I wonder what's going on. Uh, let's see. Estelle, we got all your slots open. I got all his open now. Beautiful. Okay, so not much has changed. Oh, Orbments, but here we're going to talk about. So, I kept Haze because that's really cool. Um, and I got, I upgraded her to MP2, I believe. I thought, I think we only had, I had, well, maybe that didn't change because I didn't have enough stuff to upgrade her, really. But I really wanted to have the area of effect with a wind spell still. So that's good. Petrify, defense one. Pretty much same thing it looks like. Um, Petrify breath seems new. So I think I changed Petrify out, like, for a different one. Like, uh, uh, like a, like a poison or something. But regardless of that, that's pretty good. Joshua's changed a decent amount. So... We got Action 2, Blind, Eagle Eye, Cast 2, and Information. Now open up a few different ones. Uh, so we have Clock Up and Clock Up X, um, Shadow Spear, and then Hellgate, which stagnates enemies' vital activities. Seems pretty interesting. <laughs> it's an area of attack, too, which I'm very happy with. So yeah, that's the big change. Is he's got Hellgate now. Um, other than that, we kept it good. I still want a third caster because I don't have any fire. Um, which I find a very, like, it feels like a gap in our capabilities. But, you know, we'll, we'll deal as we can. For now, it's just good to have some good ornament stuff going on. I didn't realize that was a door door. Okay. All right, we, 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 okay, we, we, we came down that way, so. Uh. There's so many interesting, like, alternative ways around town. That's kind of cool. Duty free shop. That's food. <clears throat> when I was young, Naria Mary, to my name, I sailed around the world in a trading ship. Once upon a time, Ruan was full of men with the same drive. Alright, so let's see what you got. <gasps> Liberal News Issue 4. Wait, do we have this one? We have that one. Oh, that inventory button's very nice. Okay, so he's got uh, recipe. He's got ingredients mostly. Okay. Good to know. Come by here if I need some ingredients. Currently don't, but I can see... Oh, what's going on here? Everyone look. To your left is Ruan's iconic Langland Bridge. When the bridge is down, it spans roughly 109 agar in length. Custom existing uh, orbital engine is used to raise it. It's much bigger than I expected. Hmm, this is amazing. I've seen postcards of it before, but this is my first time seeing it in person. This is an amazing view. Cool, cool. Levitar Bar and Cafe. We're gonna find our reporter in here. 
Not too long ago, I ran into a really fast monster on the beach. When I tried to kill it, I accidentally broke my sword and it's hide. Maybe small, but it's tough. Oh, is it that, those little palms, I'm guessing? Punks. Hey, what do we have here? Are you folks travelers? Word to the wise. Stay away from the warehouse district. Got some real and savory types hanging down there. Uh, what do you got? Got some snacks. I'll buy one of these so we can get the recipe. I <sighs> thought the airship of trouble was going to ruin my business meeting. Glad I rushed here from Bose. Oh, what's this say? Leventar Casino Bar, newer model casino to reopen just in time for the Queen's birthday celebration. I'm planning to grand reopening. Lav uh, Leventar Casino and Bar to coincide with the Queen's birthday festivities. Right now, the entire second floor is being remodeled. So it's not done yet. Good. Because it looks like it's blackjack and roulette, which are two very terrible and and slots. All terrible ways to waste your money gambling. At least play a game that takes a little skill. It's still bad to gamble, but like if you if you're really gonna play games on those types of odds, you're just asking for your money to be taken, literally. At least with Texas Hold'em, you have a little bit of like, you know, ability to kind of work the game. Unless you can card count. Oh, hey, what's going on down here? Another tour? C CL. That, 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 that name sounds familiar. Am I wrong? This way to the park, built to commemorate the end of the Hundred Days War. Okay, I have a question for everyone. Why, as you know, you'll be right in front of the Royal Palace if you cross the Ro uh, Robine River. That's where the ship of the Imperial Navy we defeated during the Hundred Days War. How was it done? I know. Go ahead. Ha, <laughs> I got it. I get it. Too easy. They used cannons that are all over ruined city, right? Mm, not quite. There's certainly plenty of artillery here, but we can still withstand a heavy Imperial attack on that alone. I'll give you a hint. They employed a much more dynamic model method. Oh, that was... She did a full, like, two, like 360. I know, I know. And go. What's the answer, miss? They lowered the long limb bridge. Oh, so sorry. That is incorrect. Power to the city had been knocked out at the time, so the bridge was stuck in a raised position. Hmm. Hmm. Hump. Here's the answer. Many old and decommissioned ships were sent from upriver to be detonated and sunk. Since the mound of the river is so shallow, Imperial ships couldn't break through. Wow, that's cool, but seems a little bit much. Extreme, if you ask me. Well, we're done for today. If you have free to do as you wish for a while. I mean, desperate times. It seemed effective. Please have fun until it's time. Interesting. Let's see. Guess I should escort everyone to the hotel now. Alright, so I guess I can't read the black yet. Alright. Oh, hello. I've been playing with my mom. Cool. This guy bandit held me prisoner for so long. Been ages since I've seen my hometown. Aww! Rod's my favorite place in the world. Okay, um... Orbital Factory. So that's just a different entrance here. The hotel? Let's take a peek in here. Hello, welcome to Hotel Blanc. All the rooms are boast a magnificent view of the ocean. Please feel free to relax and enjoy our amenities. Seems like a typical hotel. They said it was fit the bursting though. It'd be interesting if like I asked the rest like I normally do, but it's like they literally said, nope, can't do that. Oh wow, look at that. That is a that would be a pretty cool like vista right here. Very pretty. Ron's nice. Like it would be a pretty cool place to visit. I'm not sure if I'd want to live in a like coastal town, like a coastal city. Like the coast is great, but living on a coastal city seems kind of rough. Alright, I got a whole bunch of pot. Just some rooms. Ooh, big doors. We have to go outside. If we stay in a room, it'd be this one, most likely. Yep, I got that. Oh, look at this. You want to use the boat? I'd like to. I'm guessing that's for later, then. That's cool. 
That would be cool to have a hotel that like comes with like the ability to rent a boat. All right, so there's the Bracers Guild. I'm kind of saving it for last, if you can't tell. When the sun sets in the evening, the light comes from all over the water and through the stained glass. It's quite beautiful. And since the building itself is so pretty, it's very popular with women. Long ago, the area was populated mainly with men. We can go off to sea. True louts all. <laughs> <laughs> a magazine article described our seaside church as being nothing more than a tourist attraction. Though very strange. So this is essentially the same layout as the one back in uh, Roland. Very similar to the one in um, uh, Thatch. What is it called? I don't know, the last city we were in, but it didn't have like the upper balcony. Wait, oh, wait, I, I, what? I already went in here. Oh, I literally, I literally circled around the whole thing. Wow, that was actually not too hard. All right, let's go. Good afternoon. Huh? Huh? Why's the receptionist? Ooh, who are you? Mm. Hello, Karna. Hello there. Can I help you? Um. Jean is currently in a meeting with a guest on the second floor. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but there's something I can help you with? Uh, well, we're not here as customers or anything. Oh, the emblems, I see. So we're in the same business, then. My name's, uh, Karna. I work here at the Ruin Branch. Are you new in town? I don't recognize you. Yep, I'm Estelle, Jushu, Junior Bracer. Same goes for me. I'm Joshua. It's a pleasure to meet you. Estelle and Joshua. That's right. You're new kids from Roland, then. You two were involved in some big to-do with Scheherazade and Bose, weren't you? Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know if I'd put it quite like that. Were you expecting us? Yes, Gene told me about some promising up covers. But I'm afraid he can't change, change assignments until he's available. Why not go sightseeing and kill some time until then? I suppose so. Beat sitting around and waiting. Totally with you. Oh, yeah. Uh, would you want to hang out with us for a little longer? We only just met. I hate to just part so suddenly. Uh, certainly. So long as I won't be a bother getting your way. Woohoo! That settles it then. We can go take all the sights of Ruan. Alright, we'll come back in a little bit. Sure, have fun. Cool, so I'm guessing that means we can't look at the board. Gull Seaway Monster. Okay, so we already took care of this. We just can't turn it in yet. I'm sorry, but there's a meeting upstairs. Why don't you take the sights until you're done? Cool, cool, cool. Hmm. Should we try and go across the bridge? Oh my gosh. Wow, is this a long length bridge? Look at that. Look at that pan. Look at that view. That's actually really cool. Sure is huge. It's got, it's got to be twice as big as the Verde Bridge. It was built more than 40 years ago. Before then, people used to have to take the ferry from one shore to the other. Why didn't they build a bridge sooner? The, the Rubine River is the only body of water linking the, la uh, linking the lake to the ocean. Ships have to be able to reach Scranzel, don't they? Very astute. It wasn't possible to build the bridge until the Orbital Revolution 50 years ago. I get it. Orbit power, right? But it looks almost like it just popped up out of nowhere. The Dar Bridge is raised three times a day. The next time should be sometime this evening, I think. Cool. We'll need to see that. Agreed. Cool, cool, cool. Now, interesting. So, I've, I've done the stuff to the city. I'm going to see if I can leave. Go to the, uh, to the, the other, so the other side, and then maybe we can have the Saffron Tower. But let's see what else is on this side of the river first. My father can be kind of offensive, which works both to his advantage and detriment. My mother doesn't always say the right things either. My husband's the harbor master. He's still a bit of a coward. He's popular, reliable. I wish he'd be a little more confident. Sheesh. Talk about. Imagine your wife or husband talking to you about that. Okay, need to head over to the harbor. 
Ah, oh, this hardware master should definitely not have to put up with such nonsense. Yeah, they seem interesting. I get the feeling we're gonna have to work with them soon, though. Ah, oh, mayor's residence. Yeah, let's go visit the mayor. That will actually meet them, but you know, these places are wow. Look at this. It's like an actual garden, statues, a private dock. This mayor's living large. Hey, what can I do for you? I'm the gardener here. Got a problem? No, I just wanted to say hi. Calm down. I'm terribly sorry, but the mayor isn't here at the moment. If you would like to give him a message, I'd be happy to take it for you. Sephira, uh, Sapphire Glim, said to be a culmination of early Orbal arts, given the house to more by the citizens of Ruan immediately after the Orbal Revolution as a thanks to the contributions to the city's growth. Pretty. Okay, so the mayor has, like, literal residencies. I'm busy right now. Please leave me for the time being, will you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, interesting perspective there. Are you guests of the house? I'm dreadfully sorry, but the master is not currently in. Whoa, look at this. And there's his office. And a bed? Interesting. I have a bed in your office unless you just literally work through the night. Interesting. Even if I want to work late into the night, I would never want to work and sleep in the same room. Like, some people say it's like a badge of, like, you know, determination and dedication, but I think it's just bad to mix the two. Like, you should sleep where you sleep unless you just can't help it. Cook wears the lifeblood of a chef. That's why I absolutely must be well maintained. Same with the bracer's weapons. Yeah, it's always working. Always. My husband truly loves his work. It's wonderful that he hasn't passed out from exhaustion on a few occasions. I'm a work tourist. I work I, I work in the tourist and hotel industries in Central Broad. The most popular new construction with the tourists has definitely been the Hotel Blanc. The penthouse suite there is particularly nice. Hey, it's a vacuum! <laughs> Alright. Yes, this is the this exit to the Algerian Causeway. How about we go back to town? Okay, no tower today. I think the game knew what I was trying to do. Aqua Rose Bar. Another bar. A lot of my fellow fishermen just giving up the trade recently. Me? I don't see how you could ever do anything else. I think as long as people keep wanting to eat fish, I'll keep fishing. Since airship transit got suspended, right? I was about to leave. I had to work here, uh, work here from Zeist. <sighs> Let me tell you, it's not a gentle massage on the feet. But hey, could have been much worse. Yeah, you could have been kidnapped. Oh, let's have some oatmeal. Delicious. Hi there, welcome to the Aqua Rosa. I mostly see fishermen and sailors in here, but I'm always glad for a few new customers, whoever they might be. Fishing rods up against the rack. I wonder if I get. I wonder if I'll be able to borrow one for a bit. I'd love to do that again. <laughs> I just got back from Clavero Republic some time ago. I ain't seen a place in that a long time. Hello? Ah, uh, it's nothing like a drink after you set off. The town used to be full of nothing but sailors and fishermen. Nowadays, though, it's more land lovers than anything else. This is definitely where the, the fishermen and the the, work, the sea boat the boaters hang. I cast fortune for a load this big fly, big to fly. Guess I can only send it by bow as long as not at the rush order or anything. But I hate this is just the docks. I wonder if the sh the air shipyard is very close. Kids are travelers, right? Just gave you fair warning. Probably want to avoid the warehouse district. There are some real unsavory types hanging out down there. That's the second time we've heard that. I'm in charge of the warehouse key today. I need to get it and get it for Jeff Portis. 
This is where we unload cargo from overseas. Foreign goods go past the customs and get shipped all over liberal. The guy mentioned like the a republic he was from. That sounds cool. We haven't heard much about besides the empire and then liberal. So it's cool to hear another country mentioned. Yeah, there sure are a lot of big buildings around here. That's because this is the warehouse district. Cargo from foreign countries is kept for safekeeping. I see. Kind of depressing, though. Seems like lonely and desolate. Well, since the advent of airships, not much cargo is transported by sea anymore. Other warehouses don't get a lot of new shipments these days. Yeah, that makes sense. Looks like some of the warehouses are abandoned, too. Hmm. Seems like, so they said it's a rough place. Abandoned warehouses. That's a combo. Oh, just another way to get across. I get the weird feeling we're gonna have to like sneak through town and keep using these like side passages. Blocked. Okay. Hang on. Dang it. I was thinking we could sneak around, but it doesn't look like I can. The car. What the bunch of little kids doing here? Hey, this place is off limits. You brats ain't getting in, so scram. We never even said we wanted to come in. But, mister, why do you look so nervous? You could tell? Never mind, you're not allowed here. Just go already. I think we may need to handle this one with some care. Well, he's sure acting strange. I wonder what's up with him. Yeah, we're all like, all right, that's suspicious. Looks like something we'll have to handle later. Okay. Hold it, you lot. Hi. Who, us? Well, well, must be our lucky day. Now many women folk come around these parts. You're real sight for sore eyes. And what business have you here? <laughs> oh, this is that. You've been here for quite a while, actually. If you honestly, if you honey's got something to spare, but to entertain us, huh? I, uh... Are you seriously trying to pick up girls on an empty old warehouse lot? Sorry, we already have plans. You know, places to go, things to see. So, yeah, not interested. Feel free to go away now. Oh, check it out. I like tough women. I can take all the abuse you can dish. Grace, I see you're a man of culture. I agree, but... No. <laughs> If your goal is to creep me out even more, consider your mission accomplished. Hey, you know, for ladies, you're playing tourists. Maybe we uh, can show you around, huh? You can ditch the little kid with you. We'll have some fun. Uh, what? <laughs> hey, now, are you calling a little kid? Punks like you couldn't even take a couldn't take on Josh with you. It's okay, Estelle. It doesn't bother me. What's good at getting angry going to do? But. Aw, oh, you only back for our sake, kid? How sweet. Where does the brat get off hanging around these two hotties? <laughs> think he needs a lesson on how unfair life can be, don't you think? What the fetch? <laughs> Just a second. P please stop. <sighs> My patience has somehow offended you, then I apologize. But if you lay a finger on the ladies, I'll make certain you regret it. What? Just who do you think you are? He's just bluffing. <laughs> I get you want to look cool, cool for the ladies, but you're about to experience a world of pain. What do you think you're doing? Huh? Eh? Oh, great, another nuisance. I can't believe you guys would start acting, act, would start again with this delinquency. You're old enough to know better. You should be ashamed of yourself. Sh shut up! I don't care what we do. You're just one of the mayor's yes men. How dare you degenerate my work? How dare you indeed? Gilbert is a valuable member of my staff. Dalamore? Uh, wow, who's that? He's way too well dressed for this part of town. That's Dalamore, the mayor of Rouen. And the younger one is Gilbert, his private secretary, I think. Rouen has always been a free city. I have no intention of lodging a complaint about your matter of speech or attire. But bothering outsiders, who may be paying guests, is not permissible. Stuff it, old man. I think you're such a big shot. We ain't interested in thing you have to say. 
How dare you speak to the mayor in such a fashion? How would you like for us to report you to the Bracers Guild again? <laughs> Bracer Smasher. Always hiding behind them. Can't you do anything on your own? Besides, it's not like Bracers would get here right away. We have plenty of time to enjoy the altercation. And we'd be gone without a trace before anyone was wiser. <laughs> Funny enough, we are Bracers, so, uh, hey, we got gotcha. you. I hate to ruin your massive plan, but I'm afraid we're already here. Wait, what? Man, you mean you still haven't noticed the badges? Maybe you guys need glasses or something. With great deliberation and exaggerated movements, Estelle pointed out the braces emblem on her chest. And she raised her eyebrows with further emphasis. You'd think if it's on her chest, they would have noticed it a lot sooner. Ah, crap. You guys are braces. So wait, this little puck you're with is also a bracer. Yes. What do we do now? Can't believe a little squirt's actually a bracer. You're actually worried? If they are bracers, still just a couple girls as a kid. You can't judge a book by its cover, you know? You remember what happened last time we took on a chick bracer? Even three people, she wiped the floor with us. Going up against two bracers, even if they do look like pit squeaks, it's totally not a good idea. Okay, we're gonna lay off the hook for now. If we see you again, though, you'll be in some real pain. Catch you later! Wow. Have you ever seen a more fragile masculinity than that? Jeez, those were punks. I mean, could they be more than stereotypical? Eh, no harm done. We don't have to, oh, don't we have somewhere to be? I must apologize. I loathe when our city's guests are bothered. Forgive my lack of introduction as well. I'm Dalmore, Mayor of Ruan. And this is my steward, Gilbert. A pleasure, I'm sure. And your braces, are you not? Yep, I'm Estelle from Rollins. And I'm Joshua, also from Rollins. Jean did mention some promising new faces soon to arrive. Might he have been referring to you, perchance? <laughs> well, I don't know about the promising part, but yeah, I think he meant us. We came from Ruan in search of work, actually. Ah, how delightful. We've had some hard times of late, you see, so any help we can get is simply wonderful. I'm sure your presence here will be a great boon to us. Hard times? What do you mean? Well, Jean would be the one best able to supply the details. As an aside, is that campus uniform I spot, young lady? Yes, sir. I'm Chloe Rins. I'm from second year student at Aurora Academy. Rins? That name sounds familiar. It's a pleasure to meet you. Charmed. Dean Collins is a friend of mine, actually. Hmm. Didn't you graduate from the Royal Academy yourself, Gilbert? Yes, sir. You said your name was Chloe? I've heard a great deal about you. You ran against Jill for head of student council, right? You must be proud to have been a contender as a junior. Oh, you flatter me, sir. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the campus festival. I trust you'll be giving your all to help make it a memorable one, no? Yes, sir. I absolutely will. Well, I think I'll be the best that we get going. These uh, ravens start to make trouble again. Feel free to drop by and let me know. My duty is Mayor of Roa to ensure these streets are safe for tourists and residents alike. I mean, that's cool, but it kind of seems like you were coming from the warehouses. Well, he's certainly a dignified one. Yes, indeed. His manners and actions were perfectly suited to the mayor of a city. House Dalmore has made a long line of well-bred aristocrats. Though we no longer have real nobles, he's about as close as it gets. Wow, it's like he's from a totally different world. On the other hand, though, you still have you know, all the low lives like those guys who tried hitting on us. Yes, that was quite unsettling. I'm very sorry for leading you to such a place unprepared. No need to apologize. It's not like we sought them out or anything. We should probably keep our distance from the back end of the warehouse district, though, to avoid any further altercations. Eh, well, I don't like being restricted like that, but whatever. Alright, but I think that's a good place for us to end. We had a lot of stuff. I don't know how much I'm going to cut from this city, but I'm guessing most of the conversations were there. And with so many combats probably, like, front-loading the front of this, this episode's already looking to be pretty long. So, we're going to go ahead and stop here for now. Hope you enjoyed that grand tour of Ruan so far. I'm guessing now that we've had that encounter, we can go back to the Bracers Guild and actually interact, trade in some missions, get some more missions, actually maybe leave the city. Depends on if Chloe stays with us or not. Interesting. Interesting. Um... What was her name? Her name sounded very like, like a, like a, like a, like a, like the name of like a hero from like old tales. The, the bracer girl at, like the girl, bracer girl we met, the one that they were probably mentioning. She looked intriguing. <laughs> she had a good style, let's say. 
So I'm curious to know more about her. She's she's contending now for potential like top girl character in my books. And that thing, Estelle's got a pretty solid platform to go off of, but Chloe's interesting and and a great character design and great looking. But that bracer girl also looked really interesting. So yeah, I'll have to see how that plays out. That sounds very promising indeed. Lots of cool stuff going on. And then already got some good intrigue with the warehouse going down. Really curious to see how that's going to go. But yeah, I get this feeling like what if we like have to like sneak through the city to avoid people and we have to use these like sub passageways that go like underneath and across like the bridges and avoid the main roads. I can see that being a really interesting gameplay loop. So we'll have to see. But we'll get to all that next week. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was really fun being able to just record this episode, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. So thank you so much. Thanks for sticking it out for the series. And uh, yeah, so we got Saint Maker coming to an end, which is the series we've been having on Fridays, which means I'll be doing a wrap party for it, and very likely we'll be announcing the next game we're going to be covering for it. So keep an eye out for that. I've specifically targeted some very small developers, like, like, like for the like, because I try and keep Fridays to be kind of like a highlight for series that are get less attention than like the normal. Uh, but we've had a couple kind of bigger named type of games come out and for that series recently. So I really wanted to focus on something smaller and like very like I guess new developer esque. And all three of the options that I'm offering to the patrons to vote on are literally like the first time developer teams making games and one of them is like i'm pretty sure it's like a one or two individual like group that made it because like you can definitely tell it's kind of a come from the heart type of uh game but it has great reviews and they even reached out to me personally and asked like hey would you be interested in covering my game so of course i'm going to make sure we put it on the docket for potential consideration but if you're a patron, make sure to go and vote on it because uh, time's running out on what, when we're going to be like finalizing that vote. And if you've always wanted to, like, like I, I often turn votes to the channel like at least once a year, just kind of get a feel for what people are excited about. But I also encourage you to, like, if you want to be a patron, want to support the channel directly, and you want to have a good say on every Friday series we have, it's a good chance of the opportunity to do that. Plus, you get a direct line of communication to me. I should be doing more patron casts now. It's just been a a juggling issue of health reasons why it hasn't been a thing just because I kind of struggle just to get these videos out but uh and so while I prioritize obviously mainline content I do need to really prioritize uh patron content so I'm really hoping to change that this week but anyway thank you so much hope you enjoyed and this is the next video watch me I'll see me next I'll see you there